Cypher, India's first multi-gaming, multi-platform e-sports championship. Six teams of 14 players each compete across four games. Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Dota 2, Tekken 7 and Real Cricket 17. Each team faces the other team twice in the league stage. And three points each are awarded to the winning team of Tekken 7 and Real Cricket 17 in each match. Five points each are awarded to the winning teams of Dota 2 and CSGO games in a match. The top four teams in the league stage move to the knockout rounds. U Cypher, six teams, 84 cyber athletes and a grand prize pool of 51 lakh rupees. What's happening guys? My name is Aisha and I'm going to be your guide on this adventure which we call U Cypher, Naya Sport, Naya Superstar. Now a lot of people don't take gaming seriously but please don't listen to those people because these are the same people that thought rock and roll was boring. Well, get ready for our rock and roll adventure of gaming because we are about to have tons of fun. Today is the 11th day of the championship where the Akramaks will go up against the Sherdils. This battle is going to be intense, so without wasting any more time, let's meet our two teams. Let's go Sherdils! Let's go Sherdils! Welcome guys to your fourth round in U Cypher. You guys are now at 22 points and the Akramaks are at 21. Yeah. It's a very, very close match, which means Sari Char Game Ome, you guys will have to perform. Yeah. How have you prepared for that? Today, Akramaks, I mean, in fact, Sari players, my friends bhi hai, aur mere teammates are already there. Kappa, my brother, my friends are also there. So, today, it will be as an enemy. खेलने में मजा आएगा सारे वीक पॉइंट्स उसे भी मालूम है पर मैं उसका बाप हूँ अब देखते हैं गेम में कप्पा बड़े खुश दिखाई दे रहे हो हाँ भाई के साथ मैच है तो ओ दोस्तों के साथ मैच होने वाला है आज मजा आएगा हाँ बहुत मजा आएगा जो आप बोल रहे हो रितेश आपका भाई है वो इतनी क्लोजनेस बड� दस साल से जानता हूँ एक साथ बहुत बार खेले लास्ट ईयर हम लोग नंबर वन टीम था इंडिया का एक साथ ही उसमें हाँ मैं मिथिल मनन और रितेश वाव हाँ तो एक्सपीरियंस तो अच्छा रहा है उसके घर पे भी स्टे किया मैंने बहुत बार दो तीन महीना भी उसके घर पे था हम लोग ने बुट कैंप किया था उसके घर पे तो मतलब लेजेंड we are from the CS team, so obviously everyone knows that my team is strong, but in the end of the game, what will be the best game in the game? I got a story here. Everyone has a PC here. But one person has spent 10 days in the game and has spent his PC on his own. What a story! What is this? I don't know about it. Actually, I'm trading in Dota 2. For example, I've got to buy an item from Kappa. And I've got a key to it. So, I don't have to trust it. If you don't trust me, I'd become a middle man. In this regard, I've got money. So, how much did you earn in 10 days? In 10 days, 25 days. What? What? 10 days, 25 days. We're working hard. We need to do this. Okay, what's your prediction today? Today's prediction is that I'll win. Point. 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 Well, all the best, Akramax. Akramax! Akshay! Welcome to match day 11. Today's match is Shedils vs. the Akramaks. The Shedils are at number 3 position with 22 points. But Akramaks and Yodas are not really back. They are at 21 points. Yeah. Akramaks, if they can whitewash them, they can catch up probably with your marksman or Yaksha. But Shedils to whitewash is not possible because they have Hans, who is in some red hot form. But today's CSGO competition is going to be interesting because Ritesh ke the main players who usually play in the tournaments are all in the Akramax. So, like Mithil F, Manan, Kappa, who is right now the captain for Akramax, all of Ritesh's teammates have won a lot of tournaments with them. And Ritesh's opponents are their three ex-teammates. So, it will be really interesting to watch out there. Let's jump into the action. कहा जाता है किसी भी अच्छी चीज की शुरुआत कुछ मीठे से होनी चाहिए, which is why we always play my favorite game. Face it, victory is sweetest when we play Bandai Namco's Tekken 7 on the Sony PS4 platform. 
प्लेयर्स अपने कैरेक्टर सिलेक्ट करेंगे हर राउंड में जिसका एच खत्म हो जाएगा वो राउंड हार जाएगा हर मैच एक रेस है तीन राउंड्स जीतने की और जो प्लेयर पहले तीन मैचेस जीतेगा वो बनेगा टेक इन सेवन का विनर लेट द बैटल बिगिन Afro Ninja. तैयार हो टेकिंग सेवन के लिए? Yes, of course. Hans की विनिंग स्ट्रीक अभी भी ऑन है. So do you think you can beat him? किसी को तो करना ही होगा. Afro Ninja sounds confident. All the best, Afro Ninja. All the best, Kappa. Thank you. आखिर बात. Hans the undefeated. Hans, 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 Hans. Hans, आपके अभी तक बहुत सारे फैंस हो चुके होंगे बिकॉज यू हैवेंट लॉस्ट अ सिंगल गेम ऑफ टेक इन सो फार बट एफ्रो निंजा हैज बिन हैविंग सम टफ गेम्स ऑफ टेक इन द लास्ट टू राउंड्स तो डू यू थिंक ही हैज सम ट्रिक्स ऑफ हिस्स लीव कौन है ये एफ्रो निंजा कहाँ से आया Ritz, are you a little scared that he's getting overconfident? No, no, not at all. ये मेरा fixed deposit है. मतलब three points in the beginning of the day yes. are always yours. Yeah. I don't have to say anything else. Hans's undefeated streak is going to speak for itself. Let's watch this exciting game of Tekken Seven. Let's go, share this. Let's go, share this. Hello and welcome back to the U Cipher League. And today it's going to be. The Akramox versus the Shadels. Round one. Fight. Fang with a nice kick to the low, and that lunging tiger from Kazumi. She's using that to create some space between her and Fang, and the second one as well. She's spamming that move, and it goes the third time as well. Kazumi using the lunging tiger too much. Look at Feng's HP. It's too low. He does have the rage art, and now Kazumi has the rage art as well. And with that very well move, it's gonna be a knockout. And Shadow Stream is too. Fight. Round two begins, and now Kazumi is taking some huge damage from Feng, but with that lunging tiger, absolute strike to Feng. She again missed the move, but nice block from Kazumi, and with the kick to the face brings her down to 30% of the HP. Fang with the iron shield, but really much damage, and the tiger bounce again, and this is gonna be a knockout with the tiger strike, and the after box win round number two. Fight again with the clash between these players. He's reading her quite well. Look at the damage from the iron shield, and that's a knockout. A kick to the face. Round four. Fight. <laughs> Kazumi starting off well. Feng blocking it again. Good read from him. And look at this damage on Kazumi. She's going low again with a lower kick. She's stuck in the corner. Has a rage up, but not much time given to her. And it's a knockout. Shadows win match number one of best of five by three one. Round one. Fight. Feng with a good start to the hit to the face. That aggressive nature from Feng. He is not giving any chance to Kazumi, but it's lunging tiger after so long. She pulls it on time, but no, it's gonna be Fang with the knocker with that iron shield. Yeah, they're looking quite confident. What is going on with these clashes from these two? And now look at this Fang not giving any chance to Kazumi, but a nice block from Fang as well for that lower kick. She has the rage art to work with. That lunging tiger comes out on time, and now Fang he is just putting some pressure. She's low on HP and ends it with the iron shield. Round three. Fight. Good start to the game with a nice punch to the face to Kazumi. She's going low and nice upper head, and that iron shield makes Kazumi bounce off the wall. She has the rage art now, and the lunging tiger from Kazumi. A nice move, but the iron shield works all the time. That's a knockout. Shadows win match number two, three nil. Round one. Fight. Kazumi starts off with a nice soul strike to Fang. And now Feng with an iron shield in the game. And oh, nice lunging tiger again. So she's spamming that move to just keep and maintain a distance from. But Feng with this move makes Kazumi low on HP. She's just a hit away, and that's a knockout. Round two. Fight. Kazumi starting the game with the lunging tiger. It's his favorite move as well. Again with the iron shield, he is going to go for a knockout. 
looks like there's a map transition because this could be the last match if the Shadows win this. Round three. Fight. Because he starts off with two upper hits and that lunging tiger was a good move. Then she's now blocking his other moves as well perfectly. She's in the game, but not for long as that windmill move is gonna cause some damage to Kazumi. She had the rage art, she pulled it out on time, but no use of it. That rage art is not gonna stop the Shadils from winning this game. As a pro, clearly, what do you have to say about Afro Ninja's moves? Uh, he needs to work on his Kazumi. Practice it. I'm coaching on Saturday school at night. So he can come at my place. Wow, Hans is going to give Afro Ninja coaching classes. Ritz. I told you before, it's my fixed deposit. Fixed deposit. Yeah. Alright guys, Real Cricket 17 coming up next. Hans, come. We'll have our own party. Okay, cool. Real Cricket. It's time for Real Cricket 17 by Nautilus Mobile. This is a batting only match. Hai. Har player will face one over face in which he will make maximum runs. Banane honge. Maximum runs banane wala player will match the match. Tie to be done, both players will play a super over khelenge to decide the winner. There are two captains who are all set for the toss. For you, the game is very important because last game you both are So, what does this toss mean for you? I always give a toss for the second batting or the first batting. So, I want to win the toss and take the first batting. What about you, Kappa? I'll give it to you if you want the first batting. I'll give it to you. No, I'll give it to you. 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 Okay, who are you going to call? Kappa. Thanks. Tails. Mil gaya batting. So, you're going to bat first? Yeah. And you are going to chase. All the best. Thank you. All the best. May the best captain win. Oh, 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 oh. Itna pyaar bhaiyo ki beech mein. Let's start Real Cricket 17. Welcome to another game of the U Cypher League. This is Jireen and now it's time for Real Cricket. Today it's going to be the Akramax versus the Shadils. So it's gonna be a noob from Shadils to bat first. First ball comes in and he has flicked the wrist. It is looking like it's going for a six directly out of the stadium. And that's a helicopter shot straight down the middle. Bounces and that's a four. It is ten runs in two balls. Well he lifts the ball. It's looking like it's going for a six. A good shot towards the leg side. A good start from Anoop and the fourth ball comes in and that's an LBW, he is out. So 16 from four balls, not a bad score and he misses it. It's a dot ball, Shadil's not looking happy at this round. Well this is the last ball of this over and he needs to score something big and he pulls that shot and it's going for a six. So 22 runs from six balls, the Akramaks now need 23 runs to win this game. So now it's gonna be Sagar Vyas aka Love SX from the Akramax to bat next. First ball comes in for the Akramax, he hits it. It's looking like going for a 6 but no it's a 4, missing the boundary by an inch. Second ball, he lifts it into the air and it's going for a 6, 2 balls, 10 runs. The Akramax now need 13 runs from 4 balls. He lifts the ball into the air, it's going for a 6, it's out of the stadium. Now they need 7 runs in 3 balls. It shouldn't be that difficult for the Akramaks. Sagavan lifts it again into the air, it is going for a 6. Now they need 1 run in 2 balls. This is going to be the last one because it's going for a 6 and Sagavan seals the victory for the Akramaks. Well 
लव एस एक्स वॉट अ फैंटेस्टिक लव एस एक्स अब गेम के बाद कुछ वहाँ चल के गए थे तो वो एग्रेशन था एग्रेशन नहीं था क्योंकि रितेश एक ऐसा बंदा है जो मतलब मेरे भाई से भी बढ़कर है क्योंकि आज मैं जो भी हूँ मेरे लाइफ में रितेश इज अ पार्ट ऑफ डैट तो मैं रितेश के अगेंस्ट मेरा कुछ नहीं था बट थोड़े बहुत कचरे होते ही है टीम में तो उन्होंने कुछ चिलाया और मेरे टीम को पसंद नहीं आया और मेरे टीम का सबसे बड़ा रेजर मैं ही हूँ और अभी है टाइम क्लैश ऑफ द कैप्टन क्लैश ऑफ द फ्रेंड्स का हाँ तो ये देखने में बहुत मजा आने वाला है एकदम बाप मैच होने वाला है <laughs> अभी तो वो लोग ने आवाज कर दिया था फर्स्ट गेम में नेक्स्ट गेम में हम लोग ने भी दिखाया कि भाईचारा तो है भाई ये तो घर पे आ खाना खा के जा <laughs> इधर भाई भाई अगर भी शुरुआत तो वो लोग ने की है खत्म हम करेंगे The single player games are over. The score is 3 all and now it's time to move on to our five pointer games. The first one is CS:GO by Valve Corporation. Is game mein do teams hoti hain. Ek terrorist team aur dusri counter terrorist team. Ye ek team based game hai jo 5 versus 5 ke format mein khela jayega. Players kaun sa map khelenge ye ek banning process se tay hoga. शुरुआत में दोनों टीम्स को 800 डॉलर्स की गेम करेंसी मिलती है द एम ऑफ द टेररिस्ट टीम इज टू प्लांट द बॉम इन सिक्योर इट और किल ऑल द काउंटर टेररिस्ट द एम ऑफ द काउंटर टेररिस्ट टीम इज टू आई डिफ्यूज द बॉम और किल ऑल द टेररिस्ट इस मैच में 30 राउंड्स होंगे एंड द फर्स्ट टीम टू विन 16 राउंड्स इज द गेम विनर इन द केस ऑफ अ टाई द रिजल्ट विल बी डिसाइडेड विद अ रेस टू फोर विन्स I have the captains here with me, Captain Cool and Kappa. You guys have been playing CS:GO for approximately how long now? 10 years. 10 years. So is this going to be a friendly match or is this going to be war? I can't tell. You guys seem excited, happy and scared at the same time. Jab competition ki baat aati hai to bhai chara dekhta nahi hoga. Kappa, what is Ritz's signature move? Wo clutch achhe nikalta hai, patiently khelta hai. क्लच अच्छा निकालता मतलब वन वे टू राउंड रहेगा ओके okay. वो अकेला रहेगा तो अच्छा खेलता है वो ओह टीम के लिए अच्छा प्लेयर है उसके वजह से बट रिट्स इफ दैट्स ट्रू देन व्हाई हैव बी सीन यू शाइन लाइक द सीएस गो स्टार दैट वी हर्ड अबाउट जो तीन मैच में खेल चुका हूँ उसमें मैं इन गेम लीड कर रहा था तो वो मेरे लिए बहुत ही प्रेशरेबल था और मैं नए प्लेयर्स के साथ खेल रहा हूँ तो मैं जो बोलना चाहता हूँ और जो स्ट्रेटेजी बताना चाहता हूँ वो इम्प्लीमेंट नहीं हो रहे थे प्रॉपर वे में तो इस बार मैं एज अ इन गेम लीडर स्टेप डाउन हो रहा हूँ और मैं खुद से ही अभी अटैक पे ही चालू करना चाहता हूँ Hello and welcome back to the U Cipher League. Now it's time for some Counter Strike action between the Shadows and the Akramaks. So let's see what is the map they're gonna choose. It's gonna be Train. Well, Train map is known for being played for the CT side as much compared to the T side because CT side is much defensive and you can just wait on the bomb side and then you can make your move. But before that we're going to have a knife round and let's see who's going to win the knife round and the winner gets to choose the side. Esmex slicing down Reds the captain of the Shadows and Kappa managed to get one more frag. And here it goes one more frag for Falcon so it's a 2v5 situation. Falcon and Slots managing to get two frags and the third frag as well. The Shadows win the knife round and choose to play as the terrorist. Making the decision of playing as these on the train map. Let's see, is it gonna work for the Shadows? Meanwhile, the Shadows rushing towards the inner bomb side. And Manan finds one frag, and Freaky goes down. And Batman with the second frag, and Falcon with a nice instant trade made over here. So now it's looking like a situation. The Shadows have captured the inner bomb side. The bomb goes down. Falcon waiting for the players to move towards the inner side. Four v three situation. Falcon getting one frag, making it of three v three, and instantly goes down by Kappa. Kappa, nice headshot from him, and a second one as well. 
Kappa with the smoke on the C4. He is actually going for the ninja defuse. Lots managed to get one frag on SFX, but Kappa just calmly is defusing the C4. An amazing win for the first round for the Akramaks. Man pushing towards the alley side with his scout. He finds an instant kill on Freaky and Falcon coming from team it gets one more frag for his team and SMS with that shot well slots playing cheeky he gets one frag and shuts down Kappa as well this is humiliating for the Akramaks a 2v3 situation Falcon planting the C4 on the outer bomb side Ritz guarding his position very nicely he gets one frag so now it's on SMX he is holding with his GV the bomb goes off and the shadows make it to all. The Akramox and the shadows going neck to neck and let's jump into round number 12. Manan again aggressively towards the alley side, throws a smoke to block off the vision for the T's and a pop flash coming in from the shadows. Exchange of firing being made towards the alley side. Manan finds one guy missing few bullets but finally he connects on Falcon. Manan going for the second frag as well but instantly treated by Freaky. We have a lot of time waste and finally in 20 seconds the rest of the 2-on-4 is a good situation created. I didn't plant the bomb and I had to save my AK in the next round. Please. The Akramox win the round to level the scores again. This is gonna be the last round of the first half. Shadows with nice two round lead. Kappa holding a nice angle towards the alley. Is it gonna be a line of fire? But no, he gets one and clips the another one. Ritz towards the inner bomb side gets bad man. Kappa now towards the inner train. He finds Ritz on low HP, but still a one bullet of the op was enough for him. Kappa now moving towards the highway slowly. It's gonna be a 3v3 situation. Kappa now with a one man advantage on the Akramax. Buster finding one head and then goes down by Manan. Now it's gonna be a one on one situation between Manan and Freaky. The Molly is gonna make Manan low on HP, so he has to fall back. Looks like this round is actually gonna go to the share deals. As T's have looked in the 9th round, Nikali train made Joe. बहुत मार्जिन से जीतने का मौका था हम लोगों तो 96 is basically a good half. Mike आज रितेश काफी फॉर्म में लग रहा है because I think it was a clever decision by him. उन्होंने strategy change की he's out from the in gaming leader role and Falcon जो है on the other hand उनको opportunity दिया जहाँ पे he could get more kills. I think it's really working out well from them because first half में they have taken a lead. They are on nine rounds and Akramaks are just on six rounds. Akramaks का dugout देखोगे तो लगेगा कि उनका बाथरूम छाया हुआ है। मुझे लग रहा है कि आज शेरदल्स पहली विक्ट्री लेने वाली है। पहली विक्ट्री। Because उनकी डगाउट्स every round चिल्ला रहे हैं and they are more than excited to see themselves get victorious in Counter Strike today. Now it's time for second half of this game. Shadows with a nice three-round lead. Falcon with one more guy moving towards city, but Falcon decides to fall back. Looks like he is getting a call that the Akramox are rushing towards the inner side. Falcon with a good angle, spots one and second one as well, but Freaky is now closer to the inner side and he got one frag. So again, he is looking for one more frag. Kappa goes on and a 180 to SMX. What a great shot. Slots with the last frag on Mithil and Shadils win the round. The Akramog decide again to go towards the inner side and Falcon is raining bullets over the Akramog's two easy frags for him. Slots coming in from behind gets one frag on Manan. He goes on as well, a 3v2 situation. Buster with the last frag on Kappa, the captain of the Akramog has gone down. So 12 to 6 the current scoreline. Red's captain of Shadils gets the captain of the Akramox. Kappa has gone down. Falcon pushing towards Ali. He gets one frag on Badman. And one more frag on SMX. And Ritz is just raining bullets over the Akramox. One more frag for him. And the third frag as well. A good triple kill coming in for the captain of the Shadils. Akramox taking the strategy of pushing towards the inner side. Falcon on the outer train. With a nice pop flash, Kappa gets flashed and he makes a use of it properly. Kappa goes down. That's how you use a flashbang. The Molly is there, but still the players decide to push over the Molly. 
SMX, he's got a shutdown free. He slots holding towards the side train, gets one frag on Manan. He has spotted the player who's going on side, gets a second frag on SMX. He is just raining bullets on the Akramak. Third frag for him as well. Mithil goes down. Now it's Batman alone. Somebody has to stop slots, and yes, he does. But now it's Falcon versus it's Batman, and Falcon wins this for the Shadows. लोग ने सोचा नहीं था कि वो लोग इतना अच्छा खेलेंगे फाल्कन उसने काफ़ी अच्छा लीड किया उसके टीम को और हम लोग अगली बार के लिए ये याद रखेंगे मैंने कभी ये एक्सपेक्ट नहीं किया था कि मैं 16 सेवन जीतूंगा ये लोग के सामने थोड़ा टफ होगा नथिंग इज इम्पॉसिबल हमारे भाइयों की राइवलरी यही खत्म होती है सी एस गो में एंड स्कोर्स आर आक्रमक्स एट थ्री एंड शेर दिल्स एट एट फाइनली सी एस में खाता खुल गया हाउ डज इट फील बहुत ही सुपर एक्साइटेड हूँ एक्चुअली सारे मैचेस हम हार गए तो ये मैच एक्चुअली मैं बहुत ही टफ समझ रहा था पर प्रैक्टिस का नतीजा यही होता है स्कोर क्या था सिक्सटीन सेवन क्लोज गेम एक क्लोज नहीं था पर मेहनत ही थी हमारी कपा वॉट्स गोइंग ऑन आप कंसिस्टेंट नहीं हो आप एक जीतते हो एक हारते हो फिर जीतते हो फिर हारते हो क्योंकि प्रैक्टिस पे उतना फोकस नहीं किया जा रहा है टाइम पास कर रहे हैं हम लोग क्योंकि हम लोग ऑन पेपर बहुत स्ट्रॉग है तो सब लोग और कॉन्फिडेंट है कि हम लोग हरा देंगे सबको पास्टर ट्वेंटी वन किल्स यस ऑबियस एंड आपने उनको बाई किया था फॉर थ्री थाउजेंड पॉइंट काफी हाई बेड है काफी हाई बेड है बस्टर तीन हजार पॉइंट वो थे शायद और भी ज्यादा ओ वाह दिख रहा है रिजल्ट दिख रहा है वेल ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर द लास्ट गेम ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर द लास्ट गेम गुड लक आफ्टर सी एस गो द शेर दिल्स आर एट एट एंड आखिर आर एट थ्री Three games down, one last game to go. Welcome back to You Cipher. It's a noisy arena today, but I feel like we can still go a few decibels higher. So please make some more noise as we go into our big daddy of team games, Dota 2 by Valve Corporation. Dota 2 में हर प्लेयर अपने लिए एक हीरो सिलेक्ट करेंगे. इस गेम में दो टीम्स कंपीट करेंगी इन अ फाइव वर्सेस फाइव फॉर्मेट हर हीरो के पास स्पेशल पावर्स और एबिलिटीज होती हैं। हर टीम का ऑब्जेक्टिव है अपने एंशंस को डिफेंड करना और अपने ओपोनेंट के सारे टावर्स को डिस्ट्रॉय कर देना जो टीम पहले एनिमी टीम के डिफेंस को तोड़कर उनके सारे टावर्स डिस्ट्रॉय कर देगी वो टीम जीतेगी ने खेला भी एक्चुअली बी एफ के में एक शायद तेरी टीम में था हाँ तो प्ले स्टाइल तो रहना मालूम मुझे पता है उसका प्ले स्टाइल उसका प्ले स्टाइल बहुत एग्रेसिव है स्टार्ट पे भी अपने हीरोज बैन हो गए तो इतना पैनिक मत करो सिर्फ सोचो कि मैप थोड़ा मैप चेंज हो चुका है बस मैच का मैच का मत सोचो तो आज जीतना कैसे भी तो आज का गेम शेर दिल्स के अगेंस्ट है और नया पैच है हम लोग ने प्रिपेयर तो किया है तो अपने को थोड़ा बहुत आइडिया है कि कैसे चलता है मैप तो अपना मेन फोकस वही होगा हमारा अग्रेशन बाकी सब तो पहले वाले के जीते हुए गेम से ही करना है ओवर एक्शन नहीं करना है फुकट का आराम से खेलना है एक दूसरे का कॉल सुनना है कोऑर्डिनेशन रहना चाहिए और गेम में फोकस करके खेलना है मेरे साथ है आज के आई जी एल्स वी हैव मामा सीटा फ्रॉम द शेर दिल्स एंड वी हैव की को फ्रॉम दी आफ्टर मार्क्स की को एंड मामा सीता आपके जो हीरोज का जो ड्राफ्ट होगा उसके बारे में ऑलरेडी कुछ सोच लिया है कि विल इट हैपन ऑन द स्पॉट अगर टॉस जीतते हैं तो हम काउंटर पिकिंग ट्राई करेंगे अगर हारते हैं तो हम स्टार्ट जो सोचा है वो ही ट्राई करेंगे ओके okay. और की को आप सेम सेम मैं में भी टॉस ज़्यादा एडवांटेज है अभी फिलहाल के लिए क्योंकि नया पैच है और ड्राफ्टिंग भी पूरा चेंज हो चुका है तो नया पैच का मतलब अपडेट राइट और राइट शेर दिल्स गुड लक की को गुड लक फॉर दर मार्क्स A lot of new changes because of the Dota 2 update. These guys seem to be pretty chill about it, but I can promise you there're going to be lots of shocks and surprises, so keep watching Dota 2.
back, folks, to you, Cypher, Nasport, Nail Superstars. My name is Vivek, with me is CloudX, and you're watching the Akramaks on the Radiant, facing off versus the Shadows on the Radiant. And immediately, Brew Frog with that charge, just pushing back Disruption. Max might be looking for the Nightmare, takes a void to the face of Thunderstrike upon him. Disruption looking to fight, needs to be careful. He's dropping low on HP, and the Baron is here as well. Blue Frog will manage to drop first blood, and then moving towards Max. Max. Tagged by the Thunderstrike, should go down. Rival with the Jingu Mastery secures the kill. Blue Frog and Dream, right? They're moving towards Rival. Rival's got the Enfeeble upon him, but Disruption has respawned. He's back. Blue Frog, though, with the charge, will secure the kill for Dream. Right off the bat, it's a complete bloodbath in a try versus try scenario on the top lane. Both Sheridans and Octomus going blow for blow, but Dream. Proving to be the tanky source of initiation here on this lane. He's gonna go up against Disruption. Again, the tri lane from Sheridan is gonna go aggressive upon him. Max taking a beating on the side from the Disruptor. They're now be changing be targets. Be going for Max on the Bane instead. Sheridan's about to score a kill here with Disruption turning it into Knight in the first four minutes. Rival gets the kill with a boundless strike. Yeah, I mean, the Bane really underestimating the Monkey King's uh, damage potential there. Blue Frog coming in with the charge. Dream is your Dream has no mana to work with and Rival should get the kill. The question is, does Blue Frog find the trade and it looks like he won't get the Disruptor while Disruption will just run down Dream and bring down the Abaddon. This was one of the most messy skirmishes we've seen in a long time on the top lane. But now we're back at bottom. Eight minutes in, six to seven the scoreline. Shade is looking to get aggressive on the carry on the side of Akramux. Make believe in a little bit of trouble with Mama Sita dropping the dream coil down and illusory up forward he draws forward as well with Khans coming in they get that kill now Park is in a little bit of trouble Mama Sita has been put to sleep by Max Max choosing to enter the fray as well they will get some work done Max ends up going down though while Mama Sita gets ruptured he has the orb he's gonna jump away and he dies to the rupture Kiko gets the kill yeah, good stuff coming up from the side of Shadows. They lose a buff, but they get a Terror Blade and a Bane. The Akramunks are not going to be too pleased, and they're going to fight back. Blue Frog with the charge. He's got the Nether Strike. Now he's controlling cards, but TPs are coming in. Blood right on the floor. Do Shadows really want to take this fight? It seems as if they want to. It is nighttime after all. Disruption with the Hunter in the night giving chase. Knows that Blue Frog is nearby. Blue Frog looking for the charge, but the coil is there. It holds Blue Frog while Rival moves on for the Terror Blade. Terror Blade. He's not got any chance of getting the Sunder off to the Baning Rift. And he's dropping low, will end up falling. The Fiend's Grip is there from Max, but the rest of Sheridan's just surround the Bane and bring him down as well. Sheridan's get four, they lose nothing. Akramak suddenly in a tight situation will now lose their tier one tower on the bottom lane as well. It looks like Sheridan's are one step closer towards claiming victory. But for a 16 minute game, that's a lot of kills. 19 to 11 the score. <laughs> मैं हूं यहां पर अपने एक्सपर्ट्स के साथ माइकी और रे देखो आ, मुझे डोटा बिल्कुल समझ नहीं आता सो प्लीज सेल मी कि हो क्या रहा है यहां पर तो फिलहाल शहद ने काफी अच्छी लीड ले लिया उनके किल्स काफी ज्यादा है कंपेयर टू आक्रमक्स के यहां पे एंड स्पेशली जो कैरेक्टर्स हीरोस पे किए काफी इंटरेस्टिंग है एंड मामा सीटा यहां पे जो मिड लेन खेल रहे जो एक बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट लेन है डोटा 2 में उन्होंने पक हीरो पिक किया एंड ही इज रियली गॉट द मिड लेन वेरी स्ट्रांग एंड आक्रमक्स के पास कोई भी मौका है वापस आने का दे हैव कीको इफ ही कैन क्रिएट सम मैजिक लेट गेम या अगर वो कुछ अच्छी इन गेम कॉल्स कर देते एंड परफेक्ट बैटल एग्जीक्यूट करते then we can see a turn around uh, the real problem now was like that previous engagement for our commands was that make the leap or caught in the waning rift he's got to be careful with his positioning this time he's going to get around from the static stomp with the glimpses that's going to pull him back boundless strike holding him in place the wukong command is there shadows looking to once again bring down the terror blade and no sunder at all from make believe he's going to fall while kiko manages to find opa in the trees they make it one for one but the void from disruption cancels the tp they got vision with hunter in the night and rival is here with the jingo mastery will secure the kill for the side of shadows we're still well over a kill a minute almost at two kills a minute here 22 minutes into the game with shadows popping a smoke it's night time disruption finds the spirit breaker silences him before he can get away and they bring him down Sheridan's gets another free kill. Are they gonna get more rival with the boundless strike holding his target in position? They're gonna go forward towards Kiko while disruption is there. He's been caught with the fiend's grip. It's cancelled by Max, who got glimpsed behind into a dream call with the orb coming out. Max is silenced and killed off. Now it's two down on the side of Akramak. Sheridan's again end up trading just one. That is disruption on the Night Stalker. But they'll have to back away now. The tower. Are they going to go for this? Looks like they are going to go for the tier 2 tower after all. The wall is still on the floor and Dream wants to come in and fight. Kiko dropping the blood right on the floor won't be able to silence anyone. 
uh, near the shrine. Disruption tagged by the charge on Nether Strike is there as well. The blood right on the floor. This is risky for Akramangs. They're fighting up high ground and Mama Sita will turn around, drops the coil onto three. Kiko will manage to find a kill on the Opa, but this could go bad for Akramangs. Mama Sita controlling one of the Yule set of the blood right, holding back shells for the time being. Mama Sita wants to give chase. Trust drop the waning rift. Bane all by himself, surrounded by four members of Shadows, will end up falling, but Blue Frog looks to reinitiate. Shadows with the Crimson Guard could turn this around. The Bounder Strike is there along with the Wukong's command. Blue Frog dropping low and make believe all by himself with his BKB. He gets the Sunder off, but what's the point? Shadows have surrounded him and Mama Sita blinks forward, looking for the Terror Blade. He's buying time with the Phase Shift. They did lose the Disruptor on the side of Shadows, but this could be costly for the Akramaks. Khan's teaming up with Rival there to bring down Make Believe. That was so questionable. Fighting up into the high. Khans, what the hell kind of a vacuum was that? Blind up onto the high ground, catches four in the vacuum, a wall, a static storm, everything dropped down perfectly. They get themselves two kills and are now looking to take the base, but they're choosing to back away because make believe pop the metamorphosis and still it's going to work. The orb comes forward, Kiko's gonna lose his life, Mama Sita is godlike, and make believe can't do anything but turn tail and run with the BKB activated. Share deals. They're gonna get the glimpse off onto Mama Sita as well, or rather onto make believe, and they'll get the kill for Mama Sita, who's now beyond godlike. Dream, the only survivor. They're just ignoring him while they break his buildings, and the GG comes out. Kiko will tap, tap out, calling out the good game. For the most exciting Dota 2 game we have seen on U Cypher. Congratulations, Ritz. Today that means you have gained 13 more points. Congratulations, Shadows. Kappa, ab kya hua? Main mere game mein nahi jita pa team ko iske wajah se aare. So you're taking this completely on yourself. You guys are friends. Yes. You you treat each other like bros, okay? But today you were rivals. Is there anything that you want to say to each other? Suggestions, advice? Kappa, I want to play with the finals with you. We'll do more practice. Congratulations both of you. And thank you so much for showing us so many things that eSports is capable of. Congratulations, Shadils. Good luck, Akramux. Kappa. So another fine day in the gaming office for Ritz and the share builds over the Akramaks this time. 13 to 3 the overall score, losing just the one game and that was the cricket. But crucially, winning your first game of CS. Let's go backwards though, let's start with Tekken because Hans ke baare mein to, what do we have left to say? He's just a specialist. He's a yeah. He's a and started in perfect fashion for you. Whenever we have a match like with any team, like whether it be Marksman, Yodas or any, I mean, I'm, I don't have any doubt on this guy, Hans. Yeah. It's a perfect win. Yeah, and I, I remember talking to you, I think, in episode 8 or 9, and you know, you talked about the cricket game being tough. You know, it's, it's a one-over game, it's a T1 in many ways, it's, it's tough, and, and this one went uh, the other way, unfortunately. I mean, it was a completely random game. The Anup, I think, he couldn't handle the pressure. Uh, we lost uh, cricket, but no doubt, I think, it was unexpected about the CS. I mean, it, it was a really important win because you came off a loss versus the marksman, but now, back to winning ways for the Sheridals and Ritz here. 13-3 to in the end, the overall score. Our winners today, the Sheridals, have proved that true victory is achieved by never backing down and working as a team. They've got 13 points today to add to their kitty. Congratulations, Sheridals! The scorecard for today is Sheridals at 13 and Akramux at 3. And the leaderboard looks like this. Marksmen and Yakshas have been tied on the top position with 39 points. Sheridals have moved up the ladder and gone closer to the Marksmen and the Yakshas with 35 points. Akramaks with 24 points, Yodhas with 21 points and last but not the least, Crusaders with 18 points. There's only one advice I would like to give to the losing team. That every day is a new day, every day can be a new beginning. So don't lose hope, every day is a new start. Speaking of new starts, tomorrow is a fresh day of epic gaming between the Marksmen and the Yodhas. To watch today's entire gameplay, you can log on to usports.in. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Same time, same place. This is U Cypher, Naya Sport, Naya Superstars, a U Sports initiative. I'm Varun. And I'm Aisha. Do you Cypher?
आइडिया कि देवराज का लेने वाला है मुझे वो तो नहीं पता लेकिन मैं देवराज को लेने वाला हूँ Go! Oh!